Hi, this is Venetia, and welcome back to Skipping with Jesus. I have a word for us today, and it was given to me, um, and it was Jesus' voice that I heard, and um, it was um, the Spirit and Bride say, Come, silence no longer. The Spirit and Bride say, Come, silence no longer. Holy Spirit, here am I. Take over my vessel, let it be none of me and all of you, so that we might lift our Lord higher and give him glory in these last days. I love you, Jesus. Here I am, Holy Spirit. Speak through me. Amen. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come, silence no longer. And um, the date of this is September the 10th of 2024 at 1.29 a.m. You are my chosen ones. There are many divine assignments waiting for you. The doors will open as you arrive at Father's timing. Keep your eyes open, for you will see those assignments as you come to them in your day-to-day -day journey with me. There is no preparation required, for you have been prepared by the Holy Spirit. He trained you in your wilderness season. In your crushing, you have been anointed with the oil of your crush. In the days to come, there will be many the Holy Spirit will be drawing to the foot of my cross, repenting of their sins and being raised to new life in me. You will walk with them until they are able to hear my voice for themselves, as well as see for themselves those things I have planned for them in their calling and purpose the Father willed and, and, uh, willed and purposed for them. There are those divine assignments that will be asked of you to uproot strongholds and tear down demonic walls of generational prisons. You will bring my light into the darkness while raising dead things to life in me. As you go forward, there will be those that you offer life to that will refuse your offer of me, choosing instead to remain dead in their sin. Do not become offended with their rejection of me, for they have hardened their hearts against me, having no fear of what awaits them in their eternity. Do not keep those words I am speaking to you to yourself, for the time is near. Let the one who is doing harm continue to do harm. Let the one who is vile continue to be vile. Let the one who is righteous continue to live righteously. Let the one who is holy continue to be holy. Look. I am coming soon, bringing my reward with me to repay all my people according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes. They will be permitted to enter through the gates of the city and eat of the fruit, uh, eat of the fruit from the tree of life. Outside the city are the dogs, the sorcerers, the sexual immoral, the murderers, the idolater worshipers, and all who love to live a lie. I, Jesus, have given you this message for the churches. I am both the source of David and the heir to his throne. I am the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride say, come. Let everyone who hears this say, come. Let anyone who is thirsty come. Let anyone who desires drink freely from the water of life. He who is faithful 
He who is the faithful witness to all these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. May the grace of the Lord Jesus be with God's holy people. This, you can further, um, find re, further um, study further revelations in Revelation 22 to this spoken word. But when I, as I was preparing this word, there was um, when I returned from the Holy Land. The, actually, the morning I returned from the Holy Land, I jet lag, um, so disoriented in time. Um, when I woke up, I sat up on the side of the bed and this word was downloaded to me immediately. And the title of it is, and this is what came to me as I was preparing this word this morning that was spoken to me by Jesus in the, in the um, night hours. And the title of it is Silence No More. And it was given to me on um, January 6th of 2023. I didn't understand um, at the time what was being spoke to me, but as um, the year had passed by and specifically into this year, I am understanding more and more of um, what it, it was asking of me. And I believe now the Holy Spirit is asking of the whole remnant bride to be silenced no longer. And the scripture that was married with this spoken word is found in Isaiah 62 and 1. And this is in the Passion Translation. For Zion's sake, how can I keep silent? For Jerusalem's sake, how can I remain quiet? I will keep interceding until her righteousness breaks forth like the blazing light of dawn and her salvation like a burning torch. And this is what was downloaded to me. We can no longer remain silent. We must see for those that are blind until the scales fall from their eyes. We must hear for those that are deaf until they are able to hear the whisper of the one and only God's loving voice. We must walk with those that are unable to take their next step until their bodies are healed, their minds are renewed, and their crushed spirits are restored. We must touch those that need to be touched by the love of a risen Savior. We can no longer remain silent as the political spirit, the religious spirit, and witchcraft resounds louder than the Lion of Judah. The so far is sounding from Zion's mountain, echoing throughout the nations of the earth, calling the bride of Christ to come forward out of our caves of hiding. Open your eyes, all you saints of the Lord. Mount up on the wings of the Holy Spirit and soar, for it is in this season that he has called us to be the frontline warriors for the gathering of his ripened harvest. This word is pretty much um, telling us the spirit and bride say come we're all saying come come to the cross come to jesus repent of your sins and lord jesus come come gather your bride take us home to be with you but in turn while we are here we must we must not remain silent any longer we have to walk a walk beside our brothers and our sisters until they can hear the voice of our Lord clearly for themselves and that they can speak and see what is happening around them in the spiritual realm. We cannot remain silent any longer. And I'm going to repeat 
uh, Isaiah 62 and 1. For Zion's sake, how can we keep silent? For Jerusalem's sake, how can I remain quiet? How can we remain quiet? We will keep interceding until her righteousness breaks forth like the blazing light of dawn and her salvation like the burning torch. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will anoint this word to go out to those that you've prepared the heart to receive. And in your precious name, in Jesus' precious name, may it bring glory to him and feathering um, the kingdom of God on earth. I love you, Lord. Holy Spirit, take this word. Take this word out. I love you all. May God bless you and keep you. And may his face shine upon you. And may he find us faithful. May he find us faithful and saying, come, come Lord Jesus, and find us faithful and not remaining silent any longer. To walk with those that have not yet developed their sight or can hear his voice or come into their healing, may we walk alongside them. I pray this in Jesus' name. I love you all. God bless you and keep you. Until next time, bye-bye.